we're back at Sweet Science Gym, and today we're going to be talking about boxing shoe, the Nike Hyper KOs. They became kind of famous with Manny Pacquiao using them. Um, he had a contract with Nike for a few years. He doesn't anymore. Uh, ever since he kind of uh, offended a few people, he got some uh, some sponsorships pulled. It's uh, it's been out for you know I want to say four years, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, like I said, it was introduced with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, he used it in a lot of big fights. He was wearing uh, some gray and green ones, I think, when he got knocked out by Marquez. It'll be pretty familiar to you if, if you look at the soles. You remember Pacquiao, there was that picture where, uh, where he was face down and all you saw was the bottom of the shoe. So maybe you can recognize him like that. I've seen it priced from anywhere 180 bucks to $230. Uh, depending on uh, which edition you get, what colors you're getting. Okay, so with the Nike Hyper KO, we have uh, a couple different features with the shoe. You'll see here on the uh, Hyper KO, the, uh, the sole wraps around on the heel, wraps around on the uh, basically inner toe, outer toe. Uh, so that's basically for, uh, you know, give you good, good pivot points when you're turning in the ring. The thing I've noticed with the Hyper KO is that my boxers have mentioned some discomfort in wearing the shoe. It, it can be a little bit tight right here where they have the strap. I guess, you know, you got your Velcro so you can tighten it up or loosen it up as much as you want to, but it'll only go as, as far as uh, the rubber sole goes. So if you got a wide foot, this might not be the best shoe for you. The, the strap placement is a little bit uh, unconventional. You know, you'll typically see it like right around the ankle or a little bit above the ankle. Uh, right here on the toes, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I've never, personally, I've never tried these. I have about five different boxers I train who use them. Uh, they seem to like it. Uh, I've got one boxer who has consistently wore the Hyper KO and is, is pretty happy with them. And I've, I've had other boxers mention that the Hyper KO doesn't fit as well. It's a little bit tight uh, right here where this, uh, where this strap is. So it doesn't seem too flexible right around that area. I do think that it's a little, I've seen it uh, kind of fit funny right here in the back. You'll see that the heel, the heel's pretty stiff all the way to the top of the, uh, the ankle right there. And uh, it tends to fold right there. So it's ter in terms of ankle support, you know, I, I really don't think it's the best. Uh, for a uh, mid to high top, you know, it seems to be a little bit loose and you can kind of see on this shoe right here where it uh, where it's got some wear right here and you see that's where it's bending a lot that's where it gives uh, you know you want to get a shoe that really wraps around your, your ankle the back of the ankle and supports you really well you know that you're going to move around in the rain but uh, you need a little bit of flexibility in the shoe but if, if it's stiff if it's stiff then it's going to force you to use your toes and that's a good thing. You always want to be on your toes and you want to be moving quick. Uh, if it's flexible right here, uh, a quick movement and you might accidentally roll your ankle. And that's, that's bad. The other thing that I see with the Hyper KO is uh, it, it uses some uh, odd material. It's, uh, it's got some mesh. It's mostly mesh and vinyl. And it's got like that, uh, that gloss vinyl that seems to be pretty popular these days. Another thing that boxers have mentioned about the Hyper KO is that uh, it's pretty stiff on the sole. Uh, there's not much flexibility, it's, it's kind of rigid. Uh, it is a very light shoe, which most boxing shoes are going to be light, but, uh, but you want it to be flexible too. So it seems like there's a, there's a bit of a break-in period, uh, a pretty good break-in period. And, uh, and they also seem to wear quite a bit on the, uh, on the heel and on the toe. They seem to wear pretty fast. The one thing I do like about the Hyper KO is the look. I mean, it's probably one of the best looking boxing shoes on the market today. It's been knocked off quite a bit. Uh, there's, uh, there's some companies in China that are reproducing a similar shoe. So on a scale of one to 10, what do we give the Hyper KOs? I would say a seven. Uh, you know, design-wise it looks good, uh, but functionality, um, you know, I've heard too many complaints about it. Uh, I've seen some, I've seen some things that I don't like about the shoe. Um, you know, it's like give it a seven. Price is a little bit too expensive. I think just because it's Nike, it's uh, you know, it's got the high price tag. Um, you know, just go down the go downtown LA and you'll see some Chinese knockoffs. 
that are pretty close to it uh, for about 80 bucks. So, um, you know, you can buy them. It's a good shoe. It looks good. If you're loyal to Nike, I'd say get them. Um, you know, if you, if, if you don't have fat feet, it's not a bad shoe. I think if you've got a wide foot, it's probably not the best choice. Um, so, yeah, we get like a 7. On your report card, that could be like a B-. minus, Maybe a C-plus.